Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a video to show you how you can set restrictions on your iDevice, which would be iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, uh, or some other iDevice such as that. Now, this is a great video if you're a parent and you've got a little one who you're going to allow to use an iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch perhaps, and you can set some restrictions on that device to disallow them from doing certain things and keep them safe in the world of the internet. Let's take a look at how that might work. First thing you need to do, and you'll see here we've got an image from an iPhone here to begin with, and what you want to do is find the settings app. That's this fella right here with all the little gears on it, and you might have to hunt around for it and find it on your device. And I want you to just notice right now the Safari app here, which is now on the screen. Once we tap into the settings, what we want to do is scroll down and find the general option here and give that a tap. That'll bring us into the general settings. And what you'll want to do is scroll down a little bit and look for the word restrictions. And we want to tap on that to go into the restriction settings. And when you first get to the restriction settings, you're going to see that everything's all grayed out here until we actually enable those restrictions. And once we tap on that, we're going to be asked to put in a password. The nice thing is, you as the parent can set that password. So if a child then were to go in and try to remove the restrictions, they would have to know that password first. So go ahead and pick a four-digit password and type that in. Okay. Now you're going to have to enter it in again. It just kind of verifies that you, you know, got what you picked and that you typed it right the first time. Go ahead and put those numbers in. Now that we've typed in the password and re-entered it, please don't forget that, by the way, and now you'll see that all the grayed out stuff is no longer grayed out. So we have the option to toggle on or off these different apps. Now, as you use your device for longer and longer periods of time and you begin to collect various apps or other um, things on the device, that the list of options in here uh, may or may not change based on the things that you have installed on your device. Let's take a look at everything that we can do here. So here we can allow uh, or disallow Safari, camera, uh, FaceTime, iTunes. We can also turn off the ability to install apps and we can also turn off the ability to delete an app. And this can be an important piece too. We can also uh, check some settings for types of content. So, you know, here we're in the United States. We want ratings for the United States. For music and podcasts, we can go in here and we can turn off the ability to install any music or podcasts that have explicit lyrics. So you can turn that off. For movies and TV shows, you can select to, based on the ratings, like for movies, you can restrict it to simply PG or G-rated movies and not allow anything that's rated higher than that. Same for TV shows. They get a slightly different rating system, but you can restrict it to age levels, you know, so that your younger kids aren't able to see shows for more mature audiences. Uh, for apps, you can choose to allow or disallow apps of certain kinds. And now what's really nice down here, this can save you some money. If you turn off the in-app purchases, if you've got, sometimes you find some really nice free games out there that allow you to make purchases right within the app, you can turn off that ability. And you can also choose to require the password immediately as opposed to within 15 minutes. If you were to do a purchase for your child and put the password in, if it was set to 15 minutes, they could make another purchase within that time frame and next thing you know you're being charged for that. So if you choose to require the password immediately, uh, then they would have to put that password in each time. So that could also uh, prevent them. So uh, a couple of really nice features here. We can also choose to set some privacy restrictions. 
So in this particular case, we look at these different aspects of your iDevice and we can choose whether or not apps can have access or allow changes to these areas of your iDevice. So one example is with your photo gallery, you can choose to allow or prevent uh, your Dropbox app from accessing those photos. I use Dropbox. It's a great way to have access to things online and be able to pull them into your uh, iPad or iPhone uh, from anywhere that you might have an internet connection. Um, but you have to allow Dropbox access to your photo gallery in order for you to upload photos uh, and that sort of thing. So here you can change those settings for specific apps as to whether or not they have access to these different features and what they can do. Now you can also choose to disallow changes to accounts. This is really nice as well. So if you set up a mail account, you can prevent Junior from adding any new accounts, from modifying existing accounts, or deleting existing accounts. So if you want to have control over their email, so you know, you want to check up on them, make sure they're being safe online. Um, you can set up that one email account on the device, and that's the only one that they would be able to have access to. They won't be able to add any new ones or anything like that. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Now, let's go back up to the top where we have our restrictions for various apps here. Now, if you are concerned about your child getting out on the internet and coming across something that their little eyes should not see or you're not ready for them to see yet, you can turn off the Safari app. Just toggle that. Now, if I pair this with the ability for people to install apps, if I were to turn that off as well, not only would they not have access to Safari, but they would not be able to install any other browsers to be able to get out on the internet with. So this could be a very powerful way for you to just control when Junior has access to the Internet so that they're doing it only in a supervised setting and prevent them from coming across things that they really uh, are too young to be seeing yet. Now, when we turn this off, you'll notice that the app is actually gone from the screen. Aha! Remember that Safari app that was right up here? at the beginning of our video, well it's gone now because we disabled it. So it doesn't even show up on their screen. You can swipe through all the different screens, not going to find Safari on there. So how are they going to get to the internet? Well, if you have the install apps turned off, they can't go install another one either. So, I hope that this information was helpful for you in protecting your little ones while they're working with your iDevice. Thanks, have an awesome day, and stay safe online.